Oh dear. It looks like my last game against Oldham did not save. Ugh. Oh no. Uh, bit of a bad one. Oops. <laughs> Well, we just lost that game, <laughs> 2 1. But that's not how I remember the last game going. So now I've got to replay the bloody thing. Ah! Bloody hell. Now we've drawn it 1 1, which means I've got to play the sodding game again. Ah! How many times do you think I'm going to have to do this? Oh boy. Well, I remember us beating Oldham 6-2 in the last game. Um, but we're going to have to take a 3-0 with Ollie Palmer and Paul Mullen getting a brace. Wow. Ah, oh, man. That really effed me up there. I should have checked I'd saved it properly. Um, obviously didn't. What a plonker. Um, <laughs> so, my bad. Um, let's see. Dylan James, job offer. Oh, God. They're at it again. Um, finances. Let's have a quick look at the finances. 8,000 in transfer budget. Let's just move that to the wage budget, shall we? It's not going to make a massive difference, but uh, yeah, we're currently spending about five and a half grand more than we should. <laughs> um, our original budget was £3,830, which was miserly. I do actually remember it. Possibly being maybe 125 grand actually. Let's ask them. Let's ask them for one thing at a time. Improve the training facilities. Let's see if we get it. Because normally I ask for three things at a time. Let's try one. Um. Hopefully we get it. Not scouty scouting report. They're going to play the same formation that uh, that Oldham just did, basically. Um, so that's not going to be great. Oh, uh, the Macaulay Long Macaulay Long Langstaff, I think it was Macaulay Langstaff. He um, he's injured. I'm sure. Oh, I remember Jim O'Brien training with Rochdale. I don't think we ever signed him. Uh, I think he went to Barnsley with Keith Hill. Uh, so we'll be playing Notts County today. That's our opponents. Let's get to the game. Okay, so I think I'm going to play a 4-4-2 as, as usual. But we're going to try and get down the wide positions. So Jordan Maguire-Giroux is going to come on to the left-hand side. Because Jordan Davis is injured. Um, we're going to play the ball out wide. And to do that, as we sit top of the league. I forgot to change the instructions. Ah, what a tool. Right. Attacking with wide. There we go. And Jody Jones is in for Macaulay. Longstaff has put the ball in. Somehow they've got a penalty in the first minute. John Bostock will take and score. Oh, for Christ's sake. I was going to go balanced in the mentality, but now we've got to stay very attacking. F you, John Bostock. F you, you absolute failure. John Bostock was one of the most talented players that Crystal Palace or any team had. He threw his career away by going to Tottenham and has done absolute bugger all. And, uh, quite frankly, is a waste of talent. He's one of the biggest wastes of talent you can imagine. Um, and yes, I'm saying that because he's just scored against us and pissed me off. <laughs> oh, dear. Maguire Drew puts one in. Ollie Palmer's head is right there to receive it. Get in, lad. Referee, you cheating bastard. 
Don't even. Why? Why? <sighs> Paul Mully wasn't even in that play. Paul Mullin was offside. Oli Palmer wasn't. But Paul Mullin had nothing to do with it. He just stood at the front post. The ball went to the back post. He wasn't interfering with play or the keeper. Oh, Jesus Christ, boys. Demand more from them. Right, come on. Here's Maguire Drew. Matt Blake. Plenty of room down this left now. O'Connor puts one in. Oh, just wide by Paul Mullin. Oh, you sort of expect that to see, you know, the, the net ripple there and see it at the back of the net. Oh, Ollie Palmer does get a header in this time. It won't be ruled offside. Because uh, Matt Blake, I think, played a 1 2 with O'Connor and put one in. Ollie Palmer. That's a good header. It's not Sky Sports, though. We don't need to see it five times. Uh, let's see. Chedwin Scott. Gives it to Palmer. Oh no. Jody Jones is through. Great tackle by O'Connell. Toza clears. O'Connell now clears. Get him, boys. They're getting a bit more attacking now. Notts County. I think we're going to be balanced. It's Jody Jones. Good header by O'Connell. Mullin and Maguire Drew link up. Maguire Drew's behind Mullin. If he needs support, he can check back, but he crosses. Oh, had a back across towards goal by Elliot Lee and just wide. Matt Palmer's going to put this one in for them. Jody Jones is there again. Jesus. It's Jody Jones. Oh, fuck's sake. John Bostock. John Bostock has just gone and rifled one. And Jones set him up. Oh, you're kidding. Demand more. Go very attacking. And you know what? Opposition instructions. Let's tightly mark Jody Jones. Let's go in hard on him. Put him on his weaker foot. Trigger the press on their attacking players as well. Uh, John Bostock. Let's go in on him as well. Hard. Weaker foot. Tightly mark him. Let's see what that does for us. Jody Jones puts one in. Headed out. Come on, boys. Good tackle. Elliot Lee can't get hold of it. Blows him down. Oh, my word. Ignore the get stuck in thing. We do need to get stuck in. Joe Hugo scored for Altrincham again. My God. Um, we've not had much possession here, so... And we are doing shorter passing. Let's go very short. Um, be more disciplined. Right, dress room. Pump fist. Better than that. Show them in the second half. It's not done much to them, but. You know, Palmer and Blake seem to be having a good game. There is Blake. Maguire Drew cuts inside. Oh, it's over. Keeper tips it over there. We'll have a corner. Matt Blake will take it. And it comes. Ollie Palmer's up. No, doesn't get it. Andy Cannon now. 
Also, can't do anything with it. Matt Blake coming forward again. How is our left back our most attacking player? Come on, Palmer. Oh, he shoots wide. I'm going to fire up Paul Mullen. Ooh, Ollie Palmer heads that wide. Fire Paul Mullen up. Last 20 minutes, Matt Blake in for Paul Mullin. Oh, he's brought a save from the keeper. My God. What can we do here? Last 15 minutes, Elliot Lee not playing great. Um, Danny Simpson at right back's not playing well. Players who aren't playing well are just <sighs> some of my better players. Um, 6.5 for Henderson. Keeper, I, I don't know. Shout. Demand more. Let's see what happens. We've had 19 shots today, 11. We should get an equaliser. Come on. Get in, Danny Simpson. Get in him. Go on, O'Connor. Brindley now coming forward. Crosses. Toes his header out. Cannon heads it further on. Oh, Jody Jones. The ball just falls to him and he sweeps it in. The keeper is shit. Mark Howard's coming on for him. Um... Um, look at that. That's that's pathetic. Fell down like a fucking baby. Honestly, we don't deserve to win today. It's going to be a loss. We're going to have to take it on the chin. 3-1. Ollie Palmer now. Finds Mullin. Elliot Lee. To Blake. Oh, Matthew Blake hits one on a keeper. Couldn't keep it. Out of the back of the net. Blake runs to get the ball. He's my man in match today, Matt Blake. It's 3-2. We've brought Tunner Cliff and Young on. And Howard. A keeper, a centre-half and a midfielder. Um, Henderson, O'Connell and Cannon have gone off. Um, hang on. Instructions. Passing long. I don't think we're going to have time. It's going to be a 3 2 loss, I think. Oh, bugger. That's depressing. That's horrible. That's a nasty, nasty loss. Because the players just weren't good enough. We're going to throw the water bottle. I'm embarrassed. It's absolutely shameful. Absolutely appalling. Oh, we're still top of the league after that. I have no idea. On 29 points. That was poor. Um, Paul Mullins got 22 goals this season. And he was shit. He was, I should have substituted him. Um, Steve Parkins says a new run starts now. Play the week news. Will Harris. What the hell? He looks like 14. 22 striker Gates said was it Burnley Kong Warrington Sunderland they went from Burnley to Sunderland and then from Sunderland to Gates said I don't think he's all that but he's got 10 goals in 10 appearances to Gates said uh, I have to keep an eye on him Will Harris Barnett is next but we're not going to see that game uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring you back when i've played a few um 
I think probably bring you back for maybe a Scunthorpe game down here. <sighs> wow, that's depressing. First loss in a while. Um, but there we go, that's how, how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Um, we started off quite poor. We drew against Eastley 0 0. Lost to Oval 2 1. Then we drew 3 3 with Chesterfield. And then all of a sudden, played Maidstone 4 0. And we went and absolutely battered a load of teams. Uh, but Notts County, they've given us a bit of a bit of a tank in today. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Have a good weekend. Uh, sorry I couldn't leave that on a higher note, on a better note. But we will be back on Monday where hopefully we'll smash the shit out of Scunthorpe. Uh, that would be nice. And I will see you Monday, 5 o'clock. Take care. God bless. Bye now.